It's just amazing what we're able to do thanks to the Houston community. It really is. And you said throughout the pandemic, the need has really gone up. It really has. We've seen people come to us that have never had to ask for help before, that have lost their jobs, that have been furloughed. And we're so thankful as Kids Meals that we can be that lifeline. We can make sure that their children aren't going to bed hungry. And some of these kids that are being benefiting from this are right here in front of me. And I'm joined by their beautiful mother, Miss Brittany. Thanks so much for joining us. Hi. So I have to say, you and I were talking, uh -huh. and you said that it's been a rough year. So yeah. tell me a little bit about your journey. Um, you know, it's been a hard time for me and my family, um, but Kids Meals has kept us with food, so I don't have to stress about how we're going to eat that day. Um, they've also given me a job, so I'm learning important skills um, to actually have a career, computer skills, uh, communication skills, um, just trying to break the, the cycle of poverty. Uh, hopefully we'll get out of it sooner <laughs> than, you know, but um, it's, it gives me something to look forward to. I don't have to worry as much, and I really appreciate this program. And I'm so proud of you. You have grown so much. Just in the time I've gotten to talk to you this morning, Thank you have you. these beautiful boys, and you have an older son, too, and you said that he is going to school, and he's also going to work to help you guys make ends yes. meet. Yes, he is. He's 17 years old, and it's the last year in high school. And um, when I have a hard time, I don't like to let my storm rain on my children, but he's 17 years old and he understands what we're going through. So he went and picked up a full-time job to help me pay bills. He pays the Wi-Fi bills. He just gave me $150 to go on the rent the other day. He, he's, he's such a good child. Yeah. Well, you're an amazing mother and you're a very strong woman. Thank and you. I appreciate you sharing your story. I know it's not easy, no. but you know what? People now watching at home, you hear these stories, and I don't know about you all at home, but this is why we volunteer, and this is why I love Kids Meals. And Beth, as you're hearing Brittany over here share her story, how does that make you feel knowing that you've made an impact in her life and her children? You know, I feel so blessed that we as Kids Meals can help change lives, and we can't do without the support of the Houston community. And anybody can go to our website and check us out at kidsmealsinc.org. You can go there, you can volunteer, go to the Take Action tab, or you can donate. Only $2 a day feeds a hungry child. Jeez, it's really, really incredible. And to close, what are you most thankful for this Thanksgiving? Um, opportunities and family. Yeah. Yes. Well, I'm thankful to have met you and your beautiful boys. Look at them. They're helping give back. So not only have they received this help, but now they're helping other kids in need. And we're going to find some other kids to talk to coming up. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, reporting live from the Garden Oaks area, Maggie Flegno, CW39 Houston, no wait, weather and traffic. Thank you again. <laughs>